Hello First Presbyterian community, this is Marvin Lindsay. It's Friday, February 19th, and I've done some looking at and reflecting on an image in our Lenten devotional book titled Dawn by Hannah Garrity. It's on page five, and it's a lace and watercolor image of a dancer who seems to be trying to jump into the air, but uh, is having maybe a little bit of a difficult time. It looks as though there are uh, there's there's kinds of weights or even um, uh, streamers attached to the dancer's arms, and so the leap into the air is a little bit um, uh, restrained or a little difficult to do. And the artist says that she uh, made this image based on Isaiah 58. So I went back and reread Isaiah 58, and the chapter begins with uh, the Israelite people complaining because their prayers are not heard by God and their fasting isn't being noticed by God. And so then God responds with these words, Is not this the fast that I choose? To undo the bonds of injustice? To undo the thongs of the yoke and to let the oppressed go free? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin? Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up quickly. As long as there's someone in my life or in my community whose full potential is being thwarted, who, whose uh, development in life is being held back by someone or something, then I too am being held back. Uh, their oppression, uh, their experience of injustice hinders me as I try to get closer to God, as I try to leap into the arms of a loving God. So before I take that leap uh, of love into the arms of God, I have to turn and help my neighbor uh, get disentangled from whatever it is that is holding them back and is preventing them from being the kind of person that God created them to be, whatever it is that's preventing them from uh, achieving their own potential. And then together we can take this uh, leap for joy and jump into the arms of God and be closer to God than we already are. So my relationship with God is bound up in helping my neighbor get unbound from whatever it is that is oppressing my neighbor. Take care and may this Lenten journey be a blessing for you.